In this tutorial, we will combine our clean contacts data with a third-party company listing, which will enable further insights related to the industry and revenue information for our key contacts. Let's add a lookup step here to introduce these additional data attributes to our contacts listing. Similar to our append step earlier, we will import the company data on the fly from the data source and use Paxata's built-in matching capabilities to combine these two data sets into a single view. We will pull the company listing from the same location in the shared S3 repository. Select the third-party company listing file. Let's briefly scan the data preview to confirm the data content is what we expect and appears to be properly parsed and ready for import. Selecting the imported file will bring us to the lookup view where we can select columns for Paxata to show us a row-by-row -row preview in the data grid. Clicking on the Detect Joins button will list join suggestions that we can consider. To identify these columns, Paxata will scan the data content within each column and use probabilistic algorithms to suggest one or more sets of columns to use as join keys. Paxata also provides a join score to estimate the quality of each suggestion. This score often represents the extent to which the two data sets match or overlap using the columns selected in the lookup or join. Various options are provided to change the lookup or join type, behavior, and matching technique. The matching method allows you to customize how Paxata applies fuzzy matching to your data during this step. As you modify any of these options, Paxata supports a fully interactive experience to help you visualize and validate the result of your combined data content. Note that you can apply transformations and other data prep steps to the lookup file by selecting Expand Steps inside the Steps panel. This allows you to prepare the file prior to the lookup step. When you are satisfied with the result, click on Save to confirm the join connection with the desired options applied. Also note that this join connection and the options you applied can be modified at any time in edit mode for this step. Let's reopen the sources filtergram to view how all the data records come together. This view shows all appends and lookups or joins performed within your project as of the current step. Now we can see and filter any contact records that did not find a match in the company listing. We want to incorporate as much of the third-party company information as possible so that our reporting is comprehensive and offers the most possible insight. Let's perform a few more steps to enable additional join connections using the email domain from our contacts data and website from our third-party data. Click on the step just before the lookup step and add a split column transformation for the email column. As we enter one or more characters to use as the column separator, Paxata highlights the separator text and suggests different options to generate the ideal number of columns based on the content. Select the max number and update the column names to reflect the email ID and email domain which result from this split. Save the step and select Expand Lookup Steps to apply a similar transformation to the website column. Using the period separator and reducing the number of resulting columns, we can separate the subdomain from the domain name. Now, update the column names, and before you save the step, return to the lookup step and rerun join detection to see the additional join connections. We can now select a more optimal join connection which results in more matches and subsequently enables better marketing segmentation of our key contacts. Given our team's focus on the top industry and revenue segments, let's keep only the matched rows by changing the lookup type option to an inner lookup. Clicking Save will commit both the split sub-step as well as the changes we made to the lookup connection and type. The result is a clean and complete contacts data set enriched with key company information and the ability to better understand our contacts, accounts, and customer segments. This is a great place to add a published lens and name it accordingly. Recall that lenses can also retain your filter selections, as well as column selections and the data sort order. You can publish from this lens and export the answer set to a data destination of your choosing or to a business intelligence or predictive modeling solution. 